Alright, well, the moment we've all been waiting for. It really may not look like much, but I've gone through hell to get it all. We've got the 164 blocks of netherite that we need. Let's put them all down and let's make this beacon. This is kind of insane. This is just simply insanity. Oh no, it's just right. Four layers, all of netherite blocks, just so we can power one simple beacon. What's the most ancient debris you've ever had at one time? Was it 10? Maybe 36, which would be enough to upgrade every piece of armor and tool. Maybe you even had a stack of 64 at one point. Well, what about 5,904? Yep. 5,904, the exact amount of ancient debris you will need to make a full netherite beacon in Minecraft. This number may seem large, but I guarantee it's much larger than you could ever anticipate. You see, to make a tier 4 beacon, it requires 164 blocks. And with 9 ingots in every block, this means 1,476 ingots. But here's where things get crazy. For just one netherite ingot, you need 4 netherite scrap and 4 gold. Which brings you to needing 5,904 ancient debris, and 5,904 gold. I mean, that's just insane. But today I wanted to tell you the story of how I got a full netherite beacon in hardcore Minecraft, all legitimate, no cheating, and all on my own. And all it took was wasting well over 200 hours of my life and an unimaginable amount of destruction. So first, let me take you back six months to where it all began. But before we get into it, as I just said, this video has been a work in progress for literally over six months and it's required about 200 to 300 hours of gameplay, which makes this the biggest challenge I've ever completed. So please do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out so much and it will only take you like two seconds. And there's always the option for you to unsubscribe later if you change your mind. Also, if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like and a comment to help this video do well on YouTube. As I said, I've been working on this for so long. So please, if you do enjoy the video, please just make it worth my while. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. I can't lie, I do not even know what episode this is right now because what I'm trying to achieve in this video may take me a while. So I'm probably going to start this episode now and it may not come out for months from now. That's right, this project was actually started way back between episode 11 and episode 12 of this hardcore series, which was in April of this year. I have a lot of them and that's because I've been working on a huge project that you guys probably won't get to know about it for a while, but just know I'm working on something big. So I don't know how achievable this really is going to be. Fortunately now, to date this episode, we just made the iron and gunpowder farm. So we do have good access to quite a lot of TNT now. So I think our strategy is going to be using TNT. So first thing we're going to do is hopefully go fly and find a desert or somewhere where you can get a bunch of sand and make a bunch of TNT. That's right. Not only did I have to spend the time finding the ancient debris, but I'd also have to spend hours and hours just getting the resources to make TNT. And we were going to need a lot of it. With how much sand I needed, it would have been great to have found a desert, but to start with, I actually had to start tearing up any beach I could find just to get some sand. There we go, our first stack of TNT. Second stack, third stack, fourth stack, and fifth and final stack because we're actually out of gunpowder now. All right, now let's head to our netherite mine in the nether and see how good the, the TNT strategy is for finding netherite. Little did I know the amount of TNT I had was so insignificant and I was going to need so, so much more if I was actually going to make progress. This is an area, this is at Y15, which is where netherite most commonly spawns. So I figure it'd be best to set off our TNT up here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just do it. Oh, there we go. Already found some. Dude, maybe this strategy is as good as people say. Ouch. Oh, we found more. And again. That's not even the same vein, dude. That's so lucky. Oh, wow. That, we're on eight now. Oh, yes. We found some more. We 
We had a pretty all right start to begin with, but the problem with our strategy was it was way too inefficient. I was only setting off one TNT at a time and I was going off in every direction in a completely uncontrolled manner. By the end of the day, however, I managed to figure out a more efficient strategy which would stick with us for the rest of this challenge. Um, but what I'm actually here to do is show you the new strategy I've been using, which I think is the strategy I'm gonna stick with in the end because it seems to be pretty damn effective. So still using TNT, but I start a bit of a chain and spread the TNT out five blocks apart. As you can see, that's much more effective. It doesn't take too much time to set up and it works pretty damn well. And by the end of day one, we had a pretty impressive amount of ancient debris. We have 140 ancient debris. We also managed to get ourselves a stack of gold. All right, it's the start of day two and we're gonna start it off with just doing a little bit of nothing. If I can land here on our AFK platform, I'm just gonna sit here, get a bunch of gunpowder and to start the day off, we're gonna work on getting a heap of TNT. Come day two, I was still highly motivated, mostly because of how naive I was, not really knowing what I was getting myself into. I started off the day destroying another beach and loading up on TNT. I then returned to the nether using my new strategy and finding a bunch of ancient debris. I probably repeated this cycle a couple times throughout the day and by the end of it, here's what we had achieved. And to close out day two, we're sitting on just over six stacks of ancient debris, 398 bits of ancient debris. Wow. Oh wow. I don't even know if I can finish this. As you could hear, I was finally starting to realize just how big this challenge really was. After spending a full two days finding as much ancient debris as I possibly could, I was only a measly 6.7% of the way there. And I know I haven't shown you much of the mining so far, but what you have to understand is this was hours of effort and I can't put it all into the video. And for you to truly get an idea of how much work this took, pay attention to just how much destruction I cause in the nether because it's going to get pretty insane. Anyway, for the rest of the week, I put in as much time into this as I possibly could, pretty much just repeating the same process all week. Before the end of the first week, we had actually managed to find a desert, which was actually so helpful. Pay attention to what this desert looks like right now, because every bit of sand I get from here on out will all come from this desert. And spoiler alert, it ends up looking pretty destroyed. I'm gonna dig up a bunch of sand, fill up all these shulker boxes and my inventory, and then I'm gonna return home and craft a bunch of TNT. And of course it's night time. All right, well, I figured I'd show you guys what I've been up to. I mean, it's kind of impossible to show you everything, but you should be able to see as I walk around here, we've exploded a lot. And I mean a lot of this area. Like you're just gonna have to trust me that I've been at this for hours already and I'll continue to be at it for hours. It just goes in every direction. Like this is only a tiny, tiny portion of it. And it goes a long way that way. We've gone a long way that way. We've gone a long way that way. Hey, there we go. Oh, found two just now. More again. So yeah, this is, this is pretty much it. It's not much else to show you. Oh my God, we found more again. We're getting super lucky right now. A couple more hours of blast mining later and we had finished our first week of going for a netherite beacon. And I'm unsure of the exact amount I had at this point, but apparently I had just over 600. But yeah, anyway, we're currently up to oh, well, over 100 ancient debris for today. We've got over 600 ancient debris but we want 6,000. Like, it's insane. I'm really questioning whether this is worth it, but honestly, I want to be one of the first people to ever do this legitimately. So, I'm not stopping. But heading straight into the second week, we used the remaining TNT from our stash and ended up with this much ancient debris. Oh, we're getting very close to our first 1,000. We're on 980 ancient debris. Over the next couple of days, I went off and filled another shulker box full of TNT, and I'd like to return with a segment I like to call... How fast can you find 36 ancient debris? Uh, the, the name is still a work in progress. There we go, that's number one. Oh, there we go, hello. Number two, number three. Almost missed this one. Okay, number four. Oh, and another little hidden one. Number five. We're almost averaging one a minute. We can pick this up. I'm going pretty slow at the moment. Six. Well. Oh, what the hell? And number nine. Ten, eleven. We're doing awesome. Twelve, thirteen. And 
as I'm saying that, we find two more. Three more, actually. A vein of three. Dude, what is going on? 18, 19, that's 20. My luck, bro. Alright, there we go. 25, 26. Nice, another vein of three. Last five. Alright, 34. Two more, and we are done. Oh, hello. One. One more. We're looking for one more. And we've just successfully got another block of netherite. There it is. Oh, and now that concludes this segment of How Fast Can You Find 36 Ancient Debris? We got a time of 31 minutes and 51 seconds, which is pretty fast. Now, if you want to do the math, 36 ancient debris is how much you need for one block of netherite. And if it took us exactly this long for every 36 we found, it means it would only take us 87 hours to finish the whole beacon. Now, unfortunately, you don't always get this lucky and there's still the time to AFK for gunpowder and make TNT that you need to take into account. So we still had many, many hours ahead of us. All right, I've gone through all the TNT I had, and this is our brand new total. We're getting so close to filling our first shulker box. Okay, and our grand total at the moment is 1,511 ancient debris. Well, interesting enough, we've actually discovered our first basalt deltas biome, but this is a huge problem right now, because as I'm about to demonstrate, boom. TNT is a lot less effective in basalt, so I'm gonna have to avoid this biome. This was my first time mining ancient debris in week three, and I'd already managed to get 100 for today. But the real good news was I also had a lot more TNT. I just want to make a point that I've uh, started a brand new mine here and just to give you an idea of how long this takes all this area here it goes for a long while all this space was to find this much ancient debris which is a lot of ancient debris but this is also a lot of damn space in fact I didn't really record too many clips for week three so by the end of it here's how much progress I had made do the math we have 1688 bits of ancient debris as time went on, I started recording clips a lot less, and even my motivation for this challenge was decreasing. I had already put so much time in, but we still had so much left to do. From this point forward, a lot of clips and updates start going missing, and I don't know if it's because I didn't record them or if I deleted the clips, but it's one of my biggest regrets that I didn't do a better job to properly document this whole process. Yeah, it's been like a few weeks, like probably three weeks or something since I've even mined a single bit of netherite. Um, but I have been actively uh, collecting TNT. So this is how much TNT we have. Pretty much three shulker boxes full. Um, so I'm going to use all of this across the next few days. Um, and let's see how much netherite we can get out of it. Our last ancient debris mine was getting, it was taking a bit long to like run through and it was just taking too long. Pretty much I've been there for too long. So I've come over here and I'm here to start. A new ancient debris mine, brand new. Yeah, dope, this should be good. Finally, our first bit of ancient debris. what this is actually crazy no joke i've just dug my way all the way to my previous ancient debris mining spot we have connected just these giant tunnels underground the craziest thing about this is this is like history like meeting like it has been literal months since i've been here but yeah i'm still going we're nearing 50 percent completion of this project which is a huge milestone in fact i might push it out and try and get to 50 percent tonight because that'll keep me real motivated and this is where it all started falling apart in the beginning of this challenge i worked on it every day and then it went to every second day to every week to once a month but then all of a sudden nothing I'm sure I managed to cross over the 50% milestone, but following this, I wouldn't work on the netherite beacon again for another three months. 
It's not even that I didn't want to, trust me, I really wanted that beacon. But I'd worked on this project for two months already, and I had only just completed half of it, meaning I still had another half to go. But the real reason I took this large break is because throughout this whole time, I still had to make other content. In fact, the whole time I was working on this netherite beacon, I made 51 other videos. 74 if you count my second channel videos as well. See, I would have loved to have put all my focus on the netherite beacon and do nothing else, but it just wasn't possible. So at this point, I had to make the decision to keep making my other videos, and I abandoned this challenge. However, the recordings folder for this video was always sitting there, tempting me, titled Netherite Beacon, reminding me of this idea. And three months later, I returned, more motivated than ever, and we were going to finish this beacon. Alright, I can't lie, I cannot remember the last time I was working on this project. Feels like it was probably, I mean, months ago. It's been a while. It's been a long while, but I'm back. Firstly, picking up sand so I can make a whole new batch of TNT, and then we'll get back to mining for ancient debris. So after filling my entire inventory with sand and making nearly two shulker boxes full of TNT, I got right back into it. And across the week, I used up my entire stash of TNT, leaving us with this much ancient debris. We have reached yet another milestone. We've filled up another shulker box. This is our second shulker box full of ancient debris. Heading into the next week, I wanted to go bigger and better, so I started off by collecting over three shulker boxes full of TNT, and I found by collecting this much TNT to begin with, it would really help me make progress, as I could go for 10 hours straight some days without stopping. This week was definitely the turning point in this challenge, and it's where I started believing I'd actually get it done. There were multiple days in this week where I did nothing but mine ancient debris for the whole day, and it paid off because only one week later we had managed to complete an additional 20% of the project. Alright, I am less than 10 away from hitting the milestone of 4,000 ancient debris. So this right here is 4,000, and this is 4,001. Damn. Oh, and more over here as well, 4,002. 4,003! 4,004! It's been one or two days since the last clip, and uh, yeah, we're officially at 75%. Our total right now comes to 4,452. So of the three and a bit shulkers we had of TNT, I have finally used it all up. And with a final update, we add another 42 to our count, and this brings our total to a clean 4,710. It's just under 80%. So from here, our plan is to head back to the overworld for the first time in a long time. I've been down here for ages. And we're gonna, I think I'm just gonna farm up one just massive batch of TNT, maybe like four shulkers or something. I think that should be enough to get us pretty close to done. So with roughly 20% left to collect, we were less than two weeks away from completing what I set out to achieve six months ago. I did exactly what I said, collecting another huge stash of TNT. So here we are back in the nether. I farmed up four full shulker boxes full of TNT, and again spending tens of hours throughout the week doing nothing but digging tunnels, laying down a line of TNT, letting it explode, and then repeating again and again. And it's probably also important to mention that by this point I had already gotten more than enough gold to make the netherite ingots from mining the gold in the nether as I went. Uh, this actually brings our total to 4,904 ancient debris. Another day, another lot of ancient debris. We have now filled up our third shulker box of this stuff. So that means our total is now up to 5,185. All right, so I've started off today by finding roughly 170. So our total is now at 5,598. And it means we're only like 300 away. All right, just another quick little uh, update. We found another 72 ancient debris. This is actually the last bit of TNT that we have. So whatever we get from this lot will be our total. All right, and we are back. We have used up all our TNT. And once again, we have found 72 ancient debris. 5,742 ancient debris. This was it. The final day was here. After starting this six months ago, we were finally going to finish one of the biggest achievements you could ever complete in Minecraft, making a full netherite beacon. 
We had less than 200 ancient debris to go, so of course I started off by making another shulker box full of TNT and then I got right back into it. Once I started, nothing could stop me because I was so excited to finally be done. Just under 100 to go. Still. We're currently on 5,872. We only need 32 more bits of ancient debris and we are done. Here we go. 29. 27. Here we go. 24. 22. 21. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Alright, that's kind of perfect, isn't it? Literally one away from having enough to make a full netherite beacon. We need literally one more. really not gonna be it just one <gasps> there it is this could be perfect this could literally be perfect that's it with that piece there we now have our grand total of 5904 ancient debris but we weren't done just yet. We still had the task of making the beacon and besides smelting and crafting all our ancient debris into blocks of netherite, there were still a couple of other things we had to do as well. All right, so just quickly, if we're going to be making a netherite beacon, we're gonna to have to kill another wither. Alright, so the other thing is we're gonna need a place to put this beacon and I mean we're just we're not just gonna put a netherite beacon in the middle of nowhere We need something quite you know quite large quite epic. You, you know what? I think that just might do it So I went ahead and smelted all my ancient debris into netherite scrap And then I started crafting it all into netherite ingots and I have to say this part was quite sad Seeing 6,000 blocks turn into only a thousand ingots made it look much less impressive and even more so after turning it all into blocks but anyway, just as I thought I was done, I had noticed something. Is that even enough? I need to do my math. I hope that's enough. Why is it? Why are we short? Wait, why are we short? No. No, I thought I had enough. All right, I don't know where I've gone wrong because I swear I did the calculations like a hundred times over. But we are seven blocks short. So in conclusion, I need to go back to mining ancient debris. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm back here right now. Okay, so 252 of my ancient debris went missing, and yes, I was very mad, but the feeling of being done was too good to let this delay me any further, so I stayed up all night, and within the next 24 hours, we had discovered another 251 ancient debris. Oh, bingo. All right, that should be it, if my math is correct. And once again, we were done. Funnily enough, this actually brought my total to 6,160. I mean, I'm watching it and it hasn't gone anywhere yet, so I think we're in the clear. Alright, well that is just straight up a stack of netherite into seven blocks, exactly what we needed. Oh, we also have the ingot left over. Alright, well, the moment we've all been waiting for, it really may not look like much, but I've gone through hell to get it all. We've got the 164 blocks of netherite that we need. Let's put them all down. This is kind of insane. This is just simply insanity do i have enough the math right on this if i built this too big oh no it's just right four layers all of netherite blocks just so we can power one simple beacon and just as an added flex we need to power it with the netherite ingot it's done we've actually done it what why have I done why have I done this why why have I done this and that's the story of how I got a full netherite beacon in hardcore minecraft all it took was many hours of leaving my computer on overnight to generate more gunpowder 
plenty of time digging up this entire desert, leaving it looking like this. And there were actually three different locations I used to mine for ancient debris in the nether, and they are all ridiculously huge. The amount of destruction this took is actually unbelievable. Look, I know a lot of people are probably skeptical right now that I did this all legitimately without cheating, and I understand that because I showed barely any of the process in this video, but I hope just the sheer amount of destruction not only in the nether, but also in the overworld is proof enough that I made every piece of TNT legit and I mined every piece of ancient debris without cheating. But hey, if you still don't believe me, there's a video linked in the description where I just run around my ancient debris mines completely unedited so you can see just how big they were and just how much effort it took to get 5,904 ancient debris legitimately. This has been the most insane thing I've ever tried to accomplish in Minecraft and I'd just like to thank you all so much for watching. If you did watch this far, please don't forget to leave a like on this video to help it in the YouTube algorithm and also subscribe. It helps me out so much and I really appreciate it. And as always, remember to drink water. Cheers. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you'll also enjoy this video on screen right now, where me and my friend went head to head to see who could find the most ancient debris in just one hour. I think it's a pretty cool video, so click it. Click it right now. Oh, and also subscribe. Okay, that's all. See you next time.